In Psalm 13, the psalmist asks, How long must I bear pain in my soul? How long must my heart bear sorrow? Or, as Eugene Peterson puts it in the message, Long enough, God. You've ignored me long enough. I've looked at you from the back of your head long enough. Long enough, I've carried this ton of trouble and lived with a stomach full of pain. Long enough, my arrogant enemies have looked down their noses at me. Take a good look at me, God. God, my God. I want to look life in the eye so no enemy can get the best of me or laugh when I fall on my face. Following the murder of Ahmad Arbery, Reverend Dr. Moss Otis Moss III wrote a sermon entitled The Cross and the Lynching Tree. It's a famous book written by Dr. James Cohn, and he asked, How long must we watch black bodies falling to the ground? How long must we, must we bear this pain in our soul? In response, he offers this sermon, but it's actually more than a sermon. It's a, it's a movie. It's a sermonic film that shares the affirmation of Dr. Moss that America is America because of black labor and black genius. Black genius. That's the reason I wanted to share this sermon with you today. It's not that I don't want to preach, but I wanted you to hear him. As he said, black women, men, and children, without their permission, gave their genius, intellectual creativity, and spiritual vitality to enrich colonial territories. And he asserts, we were brilliant enough to feed white children and nurse them at our breasts, engineer new agricultural species, design and build homes and bridges. Well, you'll hear him say this and much more. But he explains, white America feared and resented that the entire economic system of America rested on our ingenuity. And that's the story I wanted to enter into our consciousness. That's why I wanted to share it today, because it's too easy to stick with the narrative, the true story of black bodies falling to the ground. Because it's yes, and we must affirm the black genius of which he speaks, black strength, black dignity, and how all this ties to our faith in Jesus, who, as you will hear him say, blessed the world, even as he was bleeding from the cross. This sermonic film is so inspiring and impactful that when he finishes speaking, we will simply spend some time in silence to reflect on what we've heard and process how the film made us feel. And then later, come back on Zoom at 11.30 and we'll talk about it together. And just so you know, we asked and received permission from both Dr. Moss and Trinity to share this sermon with you today.